Okay, so I'm sitting here, right? And I went on my homemade ramen to cool down. I thought this would be a good chance to start talking about some of my favorite hats that I use either on a daily basis or that are really nice for travel. The ones that I mainly want to highlight are this hat from Modern Day Fair and then these two from Western Rise that just came out. So let's talk about some hats. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is this one from Modern Day Fair, right? This thing is a killer hat, especially for the on the go or the workouts, everyday carry. I like the back of this. This is a fidlock for like adjustability back here, which I think actually works super, super well, especially if you know, you're someone that's always having to adjust your fit or if you have a significant other that likes to take your hat and then adjust the fit and you can adjust it back. This one's really nice. The materials on this hat are a Ventile high performance cotton with fidlock, fidlock magnetic buckle in the back. Now this is a high performance cotton that is like water repellent. It's windproof. When I'm wearing this out here, it's been very windy and chilly with snow. It's super nice. It's actually been keeping me kind of warm when I'm out walking about and it's like windy or snowing. But when I wear this at the gym, it's also been pretty cool and my head doesn't sweat as much. Overall, this is a really kind of killer hat. I don't know. It's got more of that like baseball cap um, you know, kind of solid brim here. You're not going to get any like a lot of flexibility. I don't know how well this is as a like packable hat for a trip per se, but as like an everyday, you know, go to the gym, go to the office, go out and about kind of hat. It works really, really well. Another reason I really like this hat from Modern Day Fair is this is a very like simplistic hat. No outside branding, no emblems, no markings, nothing. It is just straight up a black hat. And it is honestly... It's a really, really killer hat. I know like I'm talking about hats, like how much can you get into it? But overall, this hat is, I think it looks really good for one. This isn't a hat that I wear a lot of my hats backwards. Um, just something I have always done uh, since I was in the military. This is one of the very few hats that I actually like wearing forward. I don't feel like this one works too much wearing it backwards because I feel like this sticks out in a weird way. Um, and I don't, I don't particularly like the way it looks on me backwards. I mean... <laughs> but overall, I think just the way you can easily adjust this and it fits. I mean, I've got a pretty average size head, maybe a little bit on the bigger side, and I've got mine adjusted to the back there. So maybe some of the larger head folks might have some issues with how big this can fit. But overall, it's a really, really solid hat. This is a pre-order item right now. Um, I believe it's still a pre-order. Let me double check. Yes, it is still a pre-order item. It's going for 40 euro, 100% worth it. Super, super killer hat. The Cashmere Beanie from Western Rise. Honestly, one of the best beanies I've ever had. Usually I would rock the Carhartt Beanie. That's typically the beanie I wear, but this one honestly takes the cake. A little bit on the expensive side because you can feel it in the fabric. Super warm. Right now, it's middle of February, so maybe winter's dying down in some places unless you're in Texas, which that kind of sucks. Out here, we got like four inches of snow. So beanies are still very much on my list of things that I wear on a daily basis, part of my normal clothing, if you will. Love this thing, especially when I was like going out in the mountains and hiking or going out and about, like when it gets cold, my ears get cold. This beanie pairs really well with their new Airloft jacket that I did a review on. It honestly is, oh, it's so, so nice in terms of beanie. If you're willing to dish out a little extra money for beanies, this is one that I would highly, highly recommend. I believe this is like a unisex. Honestly, I don't, I mean, a lot of, all of Western Rise's clothing are male specific, but if you're a female and you're looking for a beanie, this honestly, it goes, it swings both ways. And this is the new Versa hat from Western Rise. I got it in the blue color. I'm gonna exchange this for a black. I don't, I think I just like black hats. I wanted to try the blue hat. I just don't like it. It's a great color and everything. It's just not for me with what I wear with my aesthetic. A lot of my clothes are like black and gray. And I just, I don't know. I keep to that black aesthetic. This thing is seriously killer for a packable hat. If you're someone that like likes to travel and maybe you want like a very simple, nice, easy, breathable, durable fabric, just phenomenal on literally every level hat, but you don't wanna wear it maybe on the plane or maybe you don't wanna wear it all the time, this thing will literally pack away into nothing. Now, I've seen where people like crush the bill and everything. This is an EVA foam bill. So it's got flexibility and it's got, you know, it's, it's very easy and durable. It's not like rigid and stuck in that thing, no matter where you put it. I have noticed that depending on how tight you make the back of it on your head, depends on the shape of the bill. See, this is a hat for me. I don't know 
if I like the way it looks on me forward, because it kind of gives like, like that paper boy, like old school flat kind of brim. Now, I do like wearing this hat, however, backwards, especially in the gym. This is another one I've been wearing to the gym, kind of switching back and forth. This thing breathes super nice. You only got minimal branding on this one as well with the Western Rise right there at the back. That's something that Western Rise typically doesn't really do is branding. But if you're looking for a good hat, this breathes really nice. I love the fabric. You've got this like um, this waistband inside here, really good for sweat. When I was like running on the treadmill and things and I wore this hat, same thing with the modern day fair hat. My sweat, everything, my head, usually like it's really hot and it gets itchy because my hair is really, really thick. And this hat honestly breathes so nicely. And that's the main thing I'm looking for in a hat. And probably a lot of people maybe too is that i want something that's going to breathe really nice because if i'm wearing this hat i don't want my head to get hot i don't want to get sweaty i don't want to deal with any of that and i like a hat like this especially when i get it in black that i can just lay this literally anywhere in my bag it takes up i mean literally you can just lay this thing flat like this and it just takes up as much space as the brim and you can pack this thing away and i've got an extra hat for when i go hiking in the mountains or you know going out and about and honestly it's just a good looking hat I think that they really did a good job. It's super comfy. From the moment I put it on, it was amazing. The Versa hat should be available on the Western Rise website sometime later this month or early March. I highly recommend. It's like 50 bucks. It's expensive. We're talking about expensive hats here for the most part. Some of these aren't going to be as expensive. If you're willing to dish out money for a hat that you think is going to last and it's going to work really well, I really believe that both of these are worth it. This one, I actually bought the Modern Day Fairy one he sent to me. So I do think it's worth the money just based on how I've used it. I think this one's based on um, the price that I paid for it on their Kickstarter. 100% worth it. Same with the beanie. Just phenomenal products from Modern Day Fair and Western Rise. They're just absolutely killing it in this department. Western Rise is just, just blown it away with all their clothing that they have. I mean, I, my whole wardrobe is basically... Western Rise, and I love all of it. Um, but if you're looking for a good hat, also another thing I like about this, it's super easy to adjust back here. Um, it's just like a nice little, it's not like a typical Velcro. I don't always like a Velcro hat. Sometimes I like this one is really, you get it to adjust where you want it, and it's gonna stay where you put it. And I like that as well. So, super killer hat from Western Rise. Okay, so these next hats I'm gonna throw out here, they look good. A lot of these hats, I like them for the aesthetic. The first one is from Wandered. This is a very simple snapback. You've probably seen it in some of my videos. Wander more, worry less. Just a very simple hat with a nice logo, black snapback. I think this one looks really good on me. I like this hat a lot. This is one that I wear backwards a lot on hikes. You've probably seen it in a lot of my videos when I'm doing like B-roll and stuff. This is one of my go-to hats. Wandered gave this to me like a year ago when I visited them. Uh, down in Utah, or I'm in Utah, down south of me, I went to their headquarters or whatever, and they gave me this hat as like a, hey, thanks for visiting kind of thing, and I've been in love with it ever since, so if you want like a really cool, like, you know, this is like a very, I don't know, I, I want to say hipstery vibe with the flat bill, I mean, I think you could bend it, but I think it would look really dumb, I like the flat bill aesthetic on this, really Solid hat, I like the way this one looks. This is a colorful hat from Livesign Lives Designs. I always butcher their name. They actually have a Kickstarter going on right now. I'll link it below, it's for their Eco, Eco Trek ha uh, pants. I, I live when I'm out and about, if I'm in the wilderness in any way, hiking or anything like that, I live in their wax canvas pants. They are absolutely phenomenal. I did a video on them like way back when, when I started my channel. Um, live, I love this company, they have, I did a high wool, they have their high wool fleece shirts. But this hat, I don't know, it's just something about it. Very simple, got the mesh kind of like trucker aesthetic in the back, but it's very colorful. Just one of those hats that I, I kind of like to wear when, you know, when I don't want to wear these other hats. I just, I think this hat looks really good. This is a good adventuring hat. Also looks good backwards. I don't know if I need to show these backwards or anything, but I just, I like these hats backwards. But this one's really cheap. This is like, I think like 20 bucks, like a typical price for a hat. And it looks really good and it's really, really solid. I've really enjoyed this one as well okay this one is from koala tree this is they have a couple of these are like their national park hats i got this for the heck of it when i got their compass backpack and that's actually a wax canvas mission workshop rake what can't wait to review that thing it is phenomenal um i got zion because utah zion obviously um i like this one it's not one that i wear a whole heck of a lot um i'm not sure how i completely feel about it it feels a little big but it's nice, it's like 15, 20 bucks on their website. Got that same like mesh in the background kind of thing. I just feel like it's a little high when I put it on, like this part, it sticks out a little bit, like it's a little, little up. So this is a hat that I feel like I have to wear backwards, but 
Zion National Park. They have like Glacier. And I want to say they have one other one besides this as well. And the last hat I'm going to mention, I don't even know if this is available anywhere. I wear this in a lot of videos. This is the Peter McKinnon hat. It's something that I wear religiously now in a lot of my videos backwards all the time. It's a little big. If I push it all the way down, it makes my ears stick out. It does not look good on me like this. I will say that. I, I accept that this looks bad on me. But I don't know. If you're a fan of Peter McKinnon, he does have hats. I don't know if they're still available or not, but I wanted to throw it in there because I really dig this hat and it's really fun to wear. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Talking about hats. Don't need to talk for 20 minutes. They're super solid. If you like any of the looks, aesthetics, or materials, I'll try to link below where you can get most of them, if not all of them, except for the Dayfair, no, Western Rise one. I'll just link Western Rise's website. Keep tabs. It should, when I talked to Ian over there um, a few days ago, he said it should be available sometime at the end of February or early March. So if you're interested in that, I'll link the rest of them below though. Like I said, if you guys could leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com if you want any more lists or anything like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of these hats, leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those questions you may have. And I have a Patreon. If you want to support me on Patreon, go over there, chuck in a buck. So we give away the 15th of every month. Um, bonus videos, extra content, voting on topics, things like that. Try to stay interactive with the Patreon over there so you get your money's worth, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, hundred dollars, million dollars. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.